Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Bradburn from toptipbio.com and in this video I will show you how to make a spaghetti plot in PRISM. A spaghetti plot is a type of line graph that commonly presents longitudinal data showing individual traces for each subject or another experimental unit. In PRISM, there are two variations of the spaghetti plot. The first is where each subject or replicate within the same experimental group is colored the same. In this example, there are two experimental groups, control and drug X, and each group is colored separately. This is useful to show all of the subject or replicate data for different experimental groups on the same graph. The next spaghetti plot variation is one where each subject or replicate in a single experimental group is plotted and the lines are coloured differently for each replicate. In this example, only the data from the drug X group is presented and each subject is coloured differently. This is useful when you want to show the variation of subjects or replicates in one group. So let's go into PRISM and begin creating the first spaghetti plot variation. So to start with, I'm going to start creating a new XY table and graph. I'm going to enter import data into a new table. My X values are going to be numbers. My Y values, I'm going to enter four replicate values in side-by-side -side subcolumns. And then I'll click the Create button. I'm just going to paste in the data that I've prepared earlier. So there are two experimental groups in this data set, Control and Drug X. There are four replicates in each group. In this example, each replicate is a separate person. Data for the x-axis is the day number from baseline to day 11, and each measure is the concentration of a certain protein, protein Y, in the blood. So to create my graph, I'm going to click on the connected graph sheet in the left-hand window, and with the XY graph family selected, I'm going to select to plot the repeated measures option with each replicate connected, and this is the basis for our spaghetti plot and I'm going to click the OK button. So to start with, this graph has no color on it. The lines for each replicates in the two experimental groups are black. So to quickly change the colors, I will go to the Change Colors button at the top and select a color theme. The Change Colors option is discussed in a bit more detail in a separate Quick Tip video tutorial. But for this video tutorial, I'm going to select the Pearl theme. So notice now that there has been some color added to Drug X and now the lines for drug X are colored in a yellow color. So next, notice that there are symbols shown for each data point. Now usually spaghetti plots do not have symbols shown on the lines, so let's remove these. To remove the symbols, I will go to the Format Graph button at the top, and then simply untick the option to show symbols. And I've done this for the control group. And what I'll do is I'll quickly toggle to my next group, drug X, and do the same thing. And now I'll click the OK button to return to the graph. So notice now the symbols have been removed and this is looking more like a spaghetti plot. And to finish this graph I will format the axes labels so that the Y axis is labelled as concentration in nanograms per milliliter because this is a concentration of a certain protein in the blood. And then the title I'm just going to call spaghetti plot. So that is our finished spaghetti plot for the first variation where the different groups are colored differently. So this variation of a spaghetti plot presents the replicate data in the same color. For example, all of the control group is colored in black, whereas all the lines for drug X are colored in yellow. However, you may wish to color the lines differently for each replicate in the experimental group. For example, if I was only interested in the data in drug X, I could color each line differently for each replicate or subject. To achieve this, I need to create a new XY datasheet but this time have the data entered so that each Y value is a separate point and not a replicate. So to do this, I'm going to click on the new data table option in the left hand window. And this time, my Y values, I'm going to enter and plot a single Y value for each point. Then click the create button. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my first data sheet and copy my X data by clicking on the column. And then you can either hit Control and C as a shortcut for copy on a Windows machine, or you can right click and select copy. Now go back to my new data sheet that I've just created. I'm going to click on the X column, 
right click and then select paste and then paste data. Alternatively, the shortcut for paste on a Windows machine is Control and V. And next, I'm going to go back to the original data sheet and I'm going to select to copy the replicate data for drug X only and then copy this into the Y columns in the new data sheet. And then what I want to do is give my replicates a different title. So I'm going to double click on the title cell of the Y columns to open up the format data table window and here I can enter a title for each column. So what I'm going to do is just call the first one subject one and then repeat this for all four replicates. So subject two, subject three, and then subject four. And then I'm going to click the OK button. So now we have our data table set up. So what I'm going to do now is click on the connected graph sheet in the left hand window. And this time with the X and Y graph and we selected, I'm going to select the connecting line only option and then click the OK button. So this is the basis of our new spaghetti plot. And again, it's, it's in black and white. So let's quickly add some color by going to the change colors option at the top. And again, I'm just going to select the pearl theme. Now, each subject in the drug X group is in a different color. And to finish off, I'm just going to change my Y axis title to concentration again in nanograms per milliliter. And this time the graph title is going to be spaghetti plot for drug X subjects only. So in this video tutorial, you have learned how to create a spaghetti plot in PRISM. A spaghetti plot is a type of line graph that commonly presents longitudinal data showing individual traces for each subject or another experimental unit. There are two ways to plot a spaghetti plot in PRISM, either by colouring the lines according to the experimental group or colouring the lines by the individual replicates in a single group. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.